Hello everyone. So now let's do the ticket number three. I hope you remember we finished ticket number one, ticket number two. Now we are going to move to the ticket number three. If you see PC three cannot access PC one, PC two, PC four. So we need to do troubleshooting for this one. Your manager assign you this task. You need to solve this issue. This is a PC three. It is in the VLAN twenty, and you have the PC one, PC two, PC three. PC one, PC two, PC four are in the VLAN ten, and this guy is in the VLAN twenty. And we have the SVI switch virtual interface is configured here, so they can communicate. That means we have the inter VLAN, so different VLAN can communicate. So let's see here. What I will do, I will log in to the PC three. This is a PC three, and then after that, I I will try to. Check first of all what I will check. I will check do I have the IP address to the PC three or not. I have the IP one ninety two one sixty eight twenty dot one, and all interface is up. And let me check do I have the root or not or the gateway. I have the gateway. If anything, any traffic is coming, I need to forward that one twenty nine, one ninety two dot one sixty eight twenty dot hundred. So I have the default gateway. I have the IP address. Everything is okay. Now let's try to ping. I will ping ping 192.168.10.1. Okay, 10.1 is having the IP of the PC one. So I am pinging the PC one. As per the ticket, PC three is unable to communicate PC one, PC two, PC four. We test the PC one. Let me try again. PC one is not working. We are in the PC three. We are in the PC three. We are trying. We are trying to ping the PC one, but it is not working. And let me ping the PC two also. What is IP for PC two? One ninety two one sixty eight ten dot two. It is not working. PC two also not working. Okay. So I am in the PC three. If you see, this is a PC three. I am in the PC three. I try to ping the PC two. It is not working. Let me log in again. Uh, I will be yeah. This is a PC four, so let me ping the PC four. What is IP for PC four? One ninety two one sixty eight ten dot three. So let me write here one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot three. If you see, it is not working. So we need to check. Maybe there is an issue with the switch one, switch two, or switch three. Anything, any issue, maybe we will have. So let me log into the switch one and let's see here. I will check here. I will write show VLAN brief. I have the VLAN ten here, okay. And if you see the port E zero by zero, this is a port in the VLAN ten. So no issue. This is good. And what I will do, I can write here show interface trunk. I have the trunk here. This is a port E zero by one. So this port is also having the trunk. And all VLANs allow here. So no issue. And they are using eight zero two dot one Q trunking. Okay, so PC this is switch one is okay. Let me go to the switch two and check there also. This is a switch two. Let me check E zero by one. It is in which VLAN? So I will enable. I will write here show VLAN brief. If you see, I have the VLAN ten here, and E zero by one is in the VLAN ten. So if you see, this is a VLAN ten. E zero by one is in the VLAN ten also. And let me check the interface about the trunk interface. Show interface trunk. If you see, I have E zero by zero in the trunk. If you see here, E zero by zero, this is in the trunk, and all VLANs allow. We are using eight zero two dot one Q. So this switch also okay. Maybe we have some issue in the switch three. So now we need to log into the switch three, and we will check here. So what I will do, I will write here show interface trunk. Just first we will check the trunk. If you see, we have two interface as a trunk. E zero by zero, this one. E zero by one, this one. E zero by one, this one, and both are uh, trunk by using the eight zero two dot one Q trunking protocol. So this is okay, no issue. Now we need to check the VLAN. So what I will do, I will write here show VLAN brief. When I write show VLAN brief, I have the VLAN ten, okay, and I have the VLAN twenty. If you see here, which PC three? PC three is belongs to VLAN twenty, but if you see here, we don't have that port. What is the port? E zero by three. E zero by three is in the VLAN one. Okay. E zero by three is in the VLAN ten. So if you see here, E zero by three is in the VLAN one instead of VLAN twenty. 
so maybe this is also one of the reasons so what we will do we will move this port from the vlan 1 to vlan 20 and we will test that one so what we will do we will do go in the configuration mode and then we will go in the interface e0 by 3 and then we write switch port mode axis and then after that switch port axis vlan 20 okay and i will save let me save the configuration after that we will try to ping where is pc3 this is a pc3 before it is not working 10.1 let's see now it will work or not okay let's see now you uh, if you see still we have issue let's see it should work it is not working let me ping again i am picking from the pc2 to pc1 pc3 to pc1 so still same thing it is not working let me try to ping the pc2 pc2 is working if you see this is a pc2 ip if you see 192 168 this one 192 168 10.2 it is working 10.2 is working and let me check the 10.3 10.3 is this this pc this pc is also working perfectly this pc this pc is working with the pc3 only pc1 is having issue let's try to check again why yeah pc1 is having the issue so let's try to ping there is some issue now it is working okay now it is working the pc1 also if you see the pc1 this is ip for the pc1 this is a pc4 and this is a pc2 so everything is working perfectly why before it is not working it is taking some time sometime maybe this pc restart so it is not working after that it is it is start working so what is the main issue here main issue is in the switch 3 if you see this is a switch 3 in this one main issue this port should belongs to vlan 20 okay if you see e0 by 3 should belongs to vlan 20 this is a e0 by 3 this should belongs to vlan 20 instead of vlan 1 okay so someone put in the vlan 1 that's why we have the issue so we need to bring that port in the vlan 20 then it will start working and we check it is working if you see here it is working let me show you again this is a pc1 it is working this is a pc2 it is working this is a pc4 it is working and also you can check also you can log into the pc1 and you can try to ping the pc3 okay pc3 so what is the ip for pc3 192 168 20.1 okay this is a pc3 so from pc1 you can access the pc3 and from the pc2 let me copy this one from the pc2 also we can ping let's see it is working from the pc2 if you are confused let me uh, do this way okay now you can check from the pc3 pc4 you can access the pc3 or not let's see so this ip belongs to pc3 this is a pc3 i am in the pc4 if you see here this is a pc4 this is a pc4 i am trying to access the pc3 this ip belongs to pc3 and it is working so our lab successfully done if you see troubleshooting ticket number three is done what we have minor issue only this port is in different vlan that's why it is not working that's all okay in the real scenario also we will have a small small thing sometime we have the different difficult thing but most of the time we have the minor issue we need to uh, carefully observe and we need to solve in the real scenario also because of the issue sometime the network is having the issue so so many guys are asking shorting so we are confused so don't be confused be relaxed and try to look the issue try to concentrate and check you will find easily it is very easy to do the troubleshooting not that much tough okay so in our next class we are going to discuss the another ticket that is a switch uh, switch lab 2 let me show you that one if you see this one this lab we are going to do this is a uh, tissue lab 2 for switching this is a troubleshooting lab for what we can say switching okay here we we will do this lab in the packet tracer you can do in packet tracer evng gns3 concept is important you can use anything where whatever you want to use okay 
If you see PC1, PC2, PC4 are in the subnet of 192.168.1.0 and it is belongs to VLAN 10. PC3 in the subnet of 192.168.2.0 and it belongs to VLAN 20. All PC are already configured with this IP address and we have the issue that PC1 cannot communicate with PC2 and PC4. If you see PC1, this is a PC1 cannot communicate with the PC2 and 4. They are in the same VLAN, this guy and this guy, this guy all are in the same VLAN but they are unable to communicate. So we need to check, this is a ticket number 1. Ticket number 2 will be different that PC2 cannot access to PC4. This is a PC2 cannot access to PC4 and then PC3 cannot communicate with anything. Same like that we have issue. This is a second issue. We are going to look in our next class. Okay. Thank you. Bye.